The leaves are beginning to change and the sun is setting sooner, but that doesn't mean the market's getting any colder. I am James Duffer with Rise Real Estate Consultants, and this is your October 2021 Rhode Island Real Estate Market Update. Did you know that according to the Rhode Island Association of Realtors, the end of this year's third quarter marked a slight slowdown in single families, homes, and condos? Think of it like traveling at 100 miles an hour and letting your foot off the gas slightly to hit 90. Sure, you slowed down a bit, but you're still traveling at a very fast pace. The state as a whole sits at 1.8 months of current housing inventory still available. That's two thirds below what your typical economist would call a balanced market, which is when there's at least six months of housing inventory available. Why don't we check in on median sales prices across the board and see what this all means. Condos are at 270,000 and still selling quickly if they're priced correctly. Single families are at 385,000 and the sales momentum appears to be slowing just a little. Multifamilies are at 380,000 and we just can't seem to satisfy the demand. Mostly because they're just as expensive as single family homes and market rents are through the roof and continue to climb. Out of state buyers accounted for almost 25% of all residential sales in October, which proves that the Rowan market is still a bargain compared to the rest of the Northeast. If you're curious about what your property could sell for in today's market, reach out to us. Who you work with matters more than ever. I'm James Duffer with Rise Real Estate Consultants, and this has been your October 2021 Rhode Island Real Estate Market Update.